Greetings fellow adventurers. Today, we'll be delving into the world of videography with a comparison of two of Sony's most popular cameras, the Sony ZV-E1 and the Sony FX30. Both of these cameras are equipped with unique features that cater to different needs and styles of videography. Let's start with the Sony ZV-E1. This compact camera may be small in size, but it packs a punch with a 12.1 megapixel full-frame XMR sensor and a real-time autofocus tracking system and an auto-framing AI processing unit. It can shoot video up to 4K at 60 frames per second which is upgradable to 4K 120p with a later firmware update and has dual native ISO of 640 and 102400. And now, the Sony FX30. This professional-grade camera is designed for videographers who demand the best. It features a 20.1 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, dual base ISO and a 14 plus stop range, and a real-time autofocus tracking system. It can shoot video up to 4K at 60 frames per second and has a maximum ISO of 409,600. So, which one is the better bang for your buck? Well, it depends on your needs. The Sony FX30 has more advanced technical specifications than the Sony ZV-E1, making it better suited for professional videography work. It has features like built-in fans to prevent overheating, dual memory card slots, and a standard HDMI port. On the other hand, the Sony ZV-E1 is perfect for solo content creators and vloggers. It has a flip-out touchscreen LCD that makes it easy to frame and record yourself as well as features like Sony's real-time IAF and real-time tracking for smooth and accurate autofocus and above all, the AI auto-framing feature which is perfect for solo content creators. In summary, both cameras are excellent choices for videography work, but the Sony ZV-E1 is better suited for solo content creators and vloggers, while the Sony FX30 is ideal for professional videographers who demand redundancy and reliability. And there you have it folks. Another adventure in the books. Subscribe if you liked the video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you on the next one.